We live in a networked world. What do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you a little story, something that just happened to me. I got home from work tonight, a little bit late. I was hungry. Wife's out of town, don't know where I'm going to go to eat. So I jump on Facebook, just playing around, wasting some time. And uh, I see in my stream these beautiful pictures of tacos. And the girl who posted, her name's Tina, and she's a, she's a server over at The Latest Dish, which is one of my wife and my favorite restaurants. Uh, it's a couple blocks from us. It's awesome. Um, so I see these tacos, and I'm like, you know what? Couldn't decide what I was going to have anyway. I love tacos, so I'm just going to head right over there. So I found out about these tacos because I'm friends with one of the, the servers at The Latest Dish. You know, I follow the fan page too, but um, I found out via one of the servers that works there. And um, I wound up having two orders, by the way. They were slamming. Don't judge me. They're delicious. Um, but the, the point is, is that I found out because the restaurant had multiple touch points. And it's not even necessarily that they officially have multiple touch points like that, that Tina was endorsed to do this. No, she just saw a really good looking plate of tacos, took a picture and posted it out to her network. So the, the value that the, the latest dish got to derive from that is not just the value of their own Facebook following on their fan page, but also that of their employees. And I think that that's the model that we're moving towards in business, is that the more touch points you have, the more personal contact you have, the better you're going to fare as a business. And it's interesting that this happened to me today because it actually comes right on the heels of um, uh, today at, at work at Divine Empowers, we had a lunch and learn about Twitter. And the, the purpose of it is, I, you know, I'm probably the most, I'm definitely the most active on Twitter of anyone at Divine Empowers. And the goal is to get everybody more familiar with how Twitter works, the different um, etiquette uh, and terminology and all the different facets of Twitter so that we could have more touch points, so that we're reaching out to different audiences. Because Divine Empowers by itself cannot reach all of the audiences that the sum of its parts can reach. My network is going to be different than some of my other colleagues' networks, and that the aggregate of that is this massive network. And um, that was proven today, you know, that we live in this networked world and that that actually has its benefit simply by the fact that uh, Tina, instead of the latest dish, posted these pictures of the tacos, and it wound up getting to me through my friend newsfeed. Um, and I trust her, so I went over there, had them, they were slamming. So we live in a network world. What's your organization doing about it? Are you preventing your people from using the internet and from using social tools, or are you enabling them? Are you giving them guidelines? Are you giving them direction and coaching and education about how to best use these tools? Think about it. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting point, and um, if you get the chance, definitely run over to the latest dish. If they have the tacos al pastor, please, for the love of God, get them. They were so awesome. Have a good day.